okay so problem statement find the reaction at the support of the beam applying condition of equilibrium okay so beam ab it is a simply supported beam at a it is hinge support at b it is roller support so first of all draw the free body diagram of this beam this is beam ab at a it is hinge support so that's why there are two reaction one it is ray and second one it is ray can one it is ray uh, uh, because of in suppose there are two reaction one it is ray can one it is rx that b it is roller support this only one reaction the reaction rb okay so first of all this point load it is acted at c the point load it is 10 kilo newton it is acted in downward direction 10 kilo newton okay so what couple load it is acted here how it is rotating it is rotating anti clockwise direction one couple load that is anti clockwise direction rotation anti clockwise direction so that's couple load it is 5 kilo newton meter 5 kilo newton meter 5 kilo newton meter okay so couple load it is 5 kilo newton meter okay so at d it is inclined load it is acted at d it is inclined load it is acted the so angle it is with 45 degree with horizontal so this angle it is 45 degree 45 degree okay and one couple moment it is acted here so rotation of this couple moment it is clockwise direction okay this rotation clockwise direction okay so this one it is 6 kilo newton meter 6 kilo newton meter okay this point inclined load it is 8 kilo newton this one it is 8 kilo newton okay so first of all so this inclined force it is resolved in two direction first of all this inclined force it is resolved in two direction one it is x direction second one it is in y direction okay second one it is in y direction so x direction it is 80 cos 45 8 cos 45 sorry 8 cos 45 8 cos 45 y direction it is 8 sin 45 8 sin 45 8 sin 45 Eight sine forty five. Okay. So now apply the equilibrium equation here. First of all, this summation of M A is equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the moment summation of M A is equal to zero. Okay. So for that assumption, if the moment it is clockwise, if the moment it is clockwise, it will be a negative. If the moment it is clockwise, it will be negative. If the moment it is anti-clockwise, it will be a positive. Moment it is anti-clockwise, it will positive. Okay, positive. So first of all, this M A moment at A. So this is A point. Okay, this A point. Okay. So first of all, take ten kilo newton load. So how much the distance ten kilo newton to A? So the distance it is three meter. See, yeah, this distance it is given three meter. Okay. So how it is rotating about the A? See here, how it is rotating about the it is rotating clockwise direction moment clockwise direction moment so clockwise it will be negative so minus 10 into into perpendicular distance it is 3 meter 3 meter okay so one couple moment it is here so this couple moment it is 5 kilo newton meter so how it is rotating it is rotation here this rotation it is anti clockwise direction okay So this rotation it is anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so anti-clockwise direction we are considering it is the positive value. So it will be plus five kilo newton meter. Okay, five kilo. So this is moment. So directly it will be take five kilo newton meter. Okay, there is a no need to 
multiply by perpendicular distance. Okay, because of already it is movement five kilometer meter. Okay, then next one this one it is eight sine forty five. Eight sine forty five. How it is rotating? Yeah, this one it is rotating. Yeah, how it is rotating? This one it is clockwise direction moment. So clockwise it is negative. So minus minus. Eight sine forty-five. Eight sine forty-five into perpendicular distance. It is d to a distance. D to a distance. It is how much? D to a distance here. I will show here. D to a distance. So this one is three plus three six meter. So this distance it is six meter. Okay. So that's a multiply by six here. Six. Okay. So eight cos forty-five is going directly point. A, there is a no perpendicular distance. Okay, so that's why eight side eight cos forty five into zero. It will be zero. Okay, so now next one it will be take R B. How it is rotating R B? It is sorry, one more it is remaining. That is six kilonewton meter. So this couple it is rotating. How it is rotating? It is clockwise direction. Okay, so clockwise direction it is negative. So directly it will count minus six kilonewton. Okay. Then next one it is R B. Okay, so R B how it is rotating? R B it is. So R B it is rotating. Anti-clockwise direction rotation. So R B into R B into anti-clockwise direction it is positive. R B into perpendicular distance it is. So total span three plus three plus three. B to A distance it is nine meters. Okay. So the distance it is, so the distance it is B to A. This distance it is nine meter. Okay. So the distance it is nine meter. Okay, nine meter. So that's why directly multiply by nine is equal to this zero. Okay, zero. So now calculate minus ten into three, then plus five, then minus eight sine forty five into Six minus six, so it will be minus sixty-four point sixty-four point nine four one plus R B into ten plus R B into ten is equal to it is zero. So from this relation, it will get R B value. So R B is equal to sixty-four point nine four one divided by ten. It will be six point four nine. No, then it is remaining ten five eight sine forty five into six minus six R B into nine. Yes, just I will cross check values. Minus ten into three, then plus five, then minus six into eight sine forty five. Then minus six, sixty-four point nine four one. Sorry, this one it is nine. R B into nine. Sorry, I will write. So this one it is sixty-four point minus sixty-four point nine four one. Nine four one. Nine four one plus R B into ten plus R B into sorry nine is equal to it is zero. So R B is equal to sixty four point nine four one divided by nine. It will be seven point two one five. Seven point two one five kilo newton. Okay, this is R B. Seven point two one kilo newton. R B. So now next apply the equilibrium equation. That is summation f x is equal to zero. Summation f x is equal to zero. Apply second equilibrium equation. That is summation f x is equal to zero. Okay. So for that assumption, if the force it is right side, it will be positive. The direction of force it is right side, it will be positive. The direction of force it is left side, it will be negative. Direction of force it is left side, it will be negative. Okay. 
so rx it is going right side so rx it is positive positive then 8 cos 45 it is going also red right side so plus 8 cos 45 is equal to it is 0 okay so write down rx is equal to rx is equal to so 8 cos 45 8 cos 45 so this one it is 5 5.65 5.65 so it will be get minus value so minus 5.65 kilonewton 65 kilonewton minus indicates we are assumed direction it is wrong actually we are rx we are assumed it is towards the point so actually it is away from the point okay so write down rx is equal to rx is equal to it is 5.65 kilonewton so just write positive and show the direction it is right side okay show the direction it is right side okay in back so the direction it is right side in back okay now second equilibrium equation apply i will write here summation f y is equal to zero apply summation of f y summation of f y is equal to zero so for that assumption if the force it is upward, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is upward, so it will be positive. The direction of force it is downward, it will be negative. The direction of force it is downward, it will be negative. Negative. Okay. So first of all, this R A Y it is going down upward direction. So R A Y. Then 10 kilonewton it is going downward direction. This 10, so minus 10. Then 8 cos foot. 8 sin 45 it is going downward direction. So minus 8 sin 45. 8 sin 45. Then RB it is going upward direction. So plus RB. Plus RB is equal to it is 0. So RB value we are calculated. Just put RB value here. So RAY minus 10 minus 8 sin 45. And plus RB it is 7.215. 7.215 is equal to 0. Okay. So just write down RAY. RAY is equal to RAY is equal to calculate. So minus 10 minus 8 sine 45 and plus 7.215. So it will be 8.44 kilonewton. 8.44 kilonewton. So this one it is R A one. R A one. Okay. Just write down R A Y is 8.44 and R B it is R B is equal to this. R B is equal to this. 7.215. 7.215. 215 and our ax it is 5.65 5 5.65 okay so now calculate array okay so array is equal to right now, array is equal to root of root of root of array x square Rx square, Rx square plus y square plus Ra y square plus Ra y square is equal to is equal to So R A X it is 5.65. R A X it is 5.65 square square plus plus R A Y it is R A Y it is 8.44 8.44 square 8.44 square. So from this relation it will get R A value. 
now calculate direction of this tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to r a y divided by r a r a y divided by r a x r a divided by r a x is equal to so r a y r a y it is 8.44 8.44 Four four eight point four four and RAX it is five point six five five point six five point six five is equal to eight point four four divided by five point six five it will be one point four nine one point four nine three so theta is equal to Theta is equal to tan inverse tan inverse tan inverse one point four nine three one point four nine one point four nine three. I will write theta is equal to here. Write down theta is equal to here. Theta is equal to if tan inverse one point four nine three. So it will be fifty six point two zero fifty six point Two zero. Okay. So this one is a direction of R A. Okay. So R X we have kept R A. It will be this direction. Okay. So this is your final solution. Okay. So R A Y it is eight point four four. R A X it is five point six five. R B it is seven point one two five kilometer. And R A it is Ten point one five six kilometer. The direction of R eight is fifty six point two zero. Okay.